wonder if you move to a new town if you could maybe start again you always wanted to tear the city walls around you down but you don't know where to begin i've had enough of staring out these windows i want to go somewhere that's new so would you leave it all behind if you know i would go anywhere with you cuz you know we got those neon dreams we'll run them down like midnight thieves we'll light up like you yeah first seen cuz you know we got those neon dreams there is a moment you got to stop and take a deep breath yeah you can feel it in your bones this is the moment you got to shine till there's nothing left and all the world will finally know everybody doing this fine morning at least it's fine over here it's actually a gorgeous day up here today in uh, Quebec yeah left the truck stop there a little bit ago and uh, slowly making our way over to our delivery we got about 390 kilometers to go which is about four and a quarter hours of driving if you can drive speed you don't have a lot of slowdowns but we got to cross the border, so uh, you never know how slow that's going to be. But uh, it's Friday, yes. It is definitely Friday. Just cruising along here, and I'm looking at some of these gorgeous hills or rocky mountains or whatever you want to call it. And, they're beautiful, nice and green, everything is nice and green. I mean, we've been getting some rain in the last couple of days too, or last couple of weeks, so should be nice and green. At least I think. But anyways, we are planning to deliver. My GPS says I should be there about 3.30 this afternoon, which is plenty early enough, I think. We only need to be there for 6.30 This evening that is I don't know why they scheduled it like that But I called them yesterday and I asked them if there was any chance that I could deliver earlier And they said nope Not really They said I could come in early and give it a try maybe they would get me in but they couldn't guarantee anything I was trying to see if I could schedule it earlier even like make an appointment earlier nope they wouldn't do that but they said they are very very busy well they didn't use those words but they said that they already got three trucks scheduled in from noon till 6 30. Mm -hmm. from noon usually means to me from 12 o'clock till 6 30. they got three trucks three three trucks scheduled in i did the i did a little bit of math on that if you do two hours for each truck, that'd be about six hours, right? Yeah. Supposedly they don't have time to unload me earlier. Now, I don't know why it takes them two hours to unload, but beats me. I guess I'll find out when I get there. I'm sure hoping it ain't going to take two hours to get me unloaded tonight. If I unload there, uh, if I supposed to come in there for 6.30, at 7.30, 8.30 tonight, by the time I'm unloaded, you know, that's kind of late for me, especially to get unloaded. Would have been nice if I could have gotten in there earlier, you know, if I could have delivered there this morning or even halfway into the morning, I could have gotten there no problem, 
I only drove uh, not even 700 kilometers yesterday. I only drove 697 kilometers yesterday, so I could have easily gotten there today. Oh yeah. So uh, that that didn't happen. But if it would have happened, I could have been a day ahead. I could have been, you know, getting unloaded. I could have been unloaded right now. You know, I could have been starting heading somewhere for a reload right now. Could have driven a few, six, six hours probably. Maybe even more. To go pick up a reload somewhere today. Or maybe for tomorrow morning. But, you know, that didn't happen, so I guess we gotta live with it. Nothing I can do about it. I tried. No luck. I guess it's not my lucky day today. <laughs> That's alright. I have had lucky days other days, so... You gotta take it the way it is. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. And that's part of life. If we were all lucky all the time, that wouldn't be no fun. You would never uh, look forward to uh, having a good day or a lucky day, you know? You gotta have a bad day every once in a while to appreciate a good day. At least that's uh, that's what I, the way I always look at it, you know? You gotta have a bad day in order to look forward to a good day. That's my attitude. I'm always looking forward for that good day. Never looking forward for the bad day. <laughs> but be honest, I, I don't think anybody's looking forward for a bad day, but I'm just putting it that way. It's Try and encourage you guys, you know. Try and look forward for the good day when you're having a bad day, you know. Anyways, enough of that spiel. Let's have ourselves a great day, like we almost always do, no matter what the circumstances are. And we are happy to have you with us. Well, guys, you might wonder why are we looking at this side? <laughs> Why are we looking at the French side again? We got rejected by the border the second time. Well, this is not the first time I'm going back to Canada. I'm sick of this. First time they said my border crossing was set for North Dakota, but my ace shows over here, so it's mismatched codes. So then I go back go to the truck stop, talk to dispatch, they send me a message saying broker changed it back to here, try again, so I go there again, it's wrong again, not in yet, so we're gonna go back to the truck stop again, fire the message back to dispatch, and I asked them if they, I'm not gonna say, Anyways, no matter what, we gotta wait, we gotta wait. Well, this is starting to frustrate me because, I mean, I left early enough. I have about two hours to spare, but come on, you know, it's already an hour since I was here at the border the first time. I don't know what's gonna happen, but all I know is no luck. That's okay, I guess. We'll just go back to the truck stop. The load don't get there today. That's not my fault. This bad should have had their act together. Made sure the border crossing was correct. So, we'll be back. Alrighty, guys. Continue on this road for 80 kilometers. I just got told to try again for the third time and just wanted to show you this cute sign that they got up here. They got an actual digital sign up here for trucks, where the trucks are supposed to go. And it's kind of neat actually. I figure since I'm going here for the third time, I figure that's kind of interesting. I would record it again, or I would record it. I hadn't recorded at all yet, but look at that. It's pretty interesting. 
But I did call the broker this time myself. I went online and I uh, looked up their phone number and I talked to them and they are saying it's showing in their system that uh, it is supposed to be for here. So we'll give it another try, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anymore. If it still isn't this time, then I better just hang it up. <laughs> I don't know. I. I waited quite a while this time before I I attempted to go back to the border when they told me to uh, go try it again so I guess uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for better luck this time so all right we'll see you guys on the other side yay guys we are in the states <laughs> we are excited oh yeah we already got ourselves a reload the time that we was waiting for uh, getting our load cleared. <laughs> I finally got cleared to go. Dispatch sent me again message saying that they were good to go and this time I didn't take no chances. I, uh, I went on the internet and I looked up the broker and I called them up myself. Made sure it was good and they checked again, double checked again. I made sure that they said twice that I am good to cross. So we went to the border and they said, yeah, we are good to go. And I said to the lady, well, I didn't take no chances this time. I said, I called the broker and uh, I said, I, you better make sure <laughs> that it is good to go this time. I said, I, I am embarrassed to go there get turned around once and not only once twice I said that would be terrible getting turned around the third time the third time gotta be the charm right <laughs> third time we gotta be in luck what is that is that a camera I don't know what that is but anyways we are in business now GPS says I should get there around five o'clock hey that is still on time for us to deliver our load our load is only to be there at 6 30 so we are still in business yes sir -y. so let's put the hammer down and get that over there yes sir -y. guys and ladies just take a look at the beautiful beautiful rocky mountains up here oh man is that gorgeous or what I don't know about you fellas and ladies, but this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful to me. Little river or lake there on the right side. Man, oh man, this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what they got up there. It almost looks like uh, some kind of lines are coming down from on the top of the mountain up there, but this is just absolutely breathtaking oh. wow can you imagine you know trees growing up there that is just amazing how the creation of the planet works you know almost straight up there in the big hard rocky mountains and you see trees living way up there all kinds of species are living up there too you know oh look at that we're going to go on the across the river i don't ever remember going up on this highway not for sure that's yeah i don't remember going up here i know i gone up on 91 but i don't remember coming down here on uh, 93 or coming up on 93 ever huh this is almost like driving in british columbia the big rocky mountains up there i mean they're bigger up there than they are here but this is already pretty huge too oh yeah i love it i hope you guys are going to enjoy it as well some of you might be from this area watching some of you may not be but what can i say it's just beautiful Beautiful country of the United States of America. Good morning. All right. Yes, we slow her down a little bit. 
That's why I like the Ram McNally, you know, when I'm going four miles an hour faster than the speed limit, it warns me, speed warning. That way I know I better step on the brakes, you know. That way I don't get into trouble. Generally, the common rule of thumbs, I believe, is as long as you're not going five miles an hour faster. I don't know about you guys here in the States. Maybe you guys can tell me, but that's what I've always heard. As long as you're going less than five miles an hour, faster than the speed limit, the cops will usually let you go. Well, technically, you are speeding, but they always give you a little bit of room, right? Anyways, it is gorgeous. 45 mile an hour speed limit through these beautiful hills up here, but that's okay. Gives us a little bit more time to take everything in, right? Pictures in the magazines today And I should be excited But I'm really kinda tired of it I know curious minds They're all looking to find some story They can tell to sell the evening shows Behind me, that day is gonna come 